Hello everyone, so I have created a topology. This is the second video of my Palo Alto firewall and in this video I will configure this interface Ethernet 1 and I will configure three different VLAN and in this Ethernet 1 2 I will configure another interface. I will create a DHCP and I will make sure like all the configuration can, can go to ISP. Ethernet 1 slash 3 is my ISP port. So let's start now. This is a brand new firewall. So I just started this firewall it in I received IP address 86.158 HTTPS 86.158 Advance Proceed Admin Default Username Admin Default Password Admin So first cut time we are logging it will ask to recreate the password. Old password is admin. New password capital A D M I N at one two three. Capital A D M I N at one two three. So this is my first look of the firewall device name PA virtual machine. Make this none. Okay. okay, so let me add one more edget here for the interfaces. So I can see like how many interfaces are active and enabled now. So let's config go to the network. So we have to create three different VLAN VLAN 10, 20, and 30 on Ethernet 1 slash 1. So select Ethernet 1. We have to make it as a layer 3 first. That's it. Okay. Now, if we see like we can see like add sub interface option is here now. So, click on the add sub interface. So, we have to create the VLAN 10. This thing we need to type it like whatever the VLAN ID we have to type it here and we can tag here VLAN 10 to virtual router I want to keep it a default one security zone I do not have anyone so I need to create a new zone zone name is trust zone and the Ethernet layers 3 okay IPv4 I will add an IP address 192 168 10.100/24 10.100 for and 20.100 30.100 for ethernet 1 slash 1 for all the three different vlan and in this ipv6 we don't need advanced i need to create a one management profile for the ping management profile and name it as ping so i can ping the network services I can pin HTTP, HTTPS, and all those services. Okay. So let's check it one more time. Default trust zone. I it will end 10. IPv4 net 10.100. Advance all code. So 10 VLAN has been configured. Now add some interface again. So VLAN 20. So even if we want like VLAN 10 and VLAN 30 in a different router we can create that one too. But I want to keep it all in the default router. Security zone, trust zone. So 
on ethernet one slash one we are i'm configuring vlan 30 again virtual router default security zone it's a trust zone ipv4 address add 192.168.20.100 slash 24 IPv6 I don't advance I need to enable the ping for testing purpose ok 10, 20, 10, 20, 30 all 3 billion has been configured now I'm going to configure Ethernet 1 slash 2 so select Ethernet 1 slash 2 and this will be a like layer 3 virtual router keep it as a default security zone I need to create a new security zone it's because it's a DMG zone DMG interface layer 3 okay. IPv4 address I am gonna use it here 10 89 89.100 now if we go on the dashboard we still see it's a uh, like grayed out but once we will commit it will turn into green so network part is done now I need to configure the DHCP so these computer can automatically receive IP address from uh, the Palo Alto so if you on the network click over here the DHCP add a new DHCP server interface I'm gonna add Ethernet 1 slash 10 mode auto IP pool and the reservation we can keep it here so IP pool I'm gonna use it here 192.168.10.1.192.168.10.10 only 10 IP I'm gonna assign reserve 1 IP I don't need it if I want to reserve any IP so we can type the IP address here add IP address and we can type the MAC address and we can put the description so but I don't need it so and the other options yes we need to do the gateway will be 192.168.10.100 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 primary DNS I can use it leave it for none now yeah, that's it all done ok same I need to configure a DHCP for Ethernet once less uh, sorry for VLAN 20 20 dot 1 to 20 dot 10 Gateway 192.168.20.100 Subnet mask 255.255.255.0 That's it Add another interface for VLAN 30 I have configured the DSCV for VLAN 10, 20 and 30 now I am going to configure DSCV for Ethernet 1 slash 2 there is no VLAN on this interface so 10, 89, 89 create a new DSCV and it's Ethernet 1 slash 2 IP address 10.89.89.1 to 10.89.89.100 so I am giving a 100 IP address options 
gateway 10 dot 10 dot 100 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 okay so DHCP has been configured VLAN has been configured and or Ethernet 1 slash 3 I want this interface to receive an automatic IP address from my this ISP so click on the network again interface Ethernet 1 slash 3 make it as a interface type layer 3 virtual router keep it in the default security zone we need to create a new zone this is a, like a ISP or we can say untrust zone IPP4 so I want like it auto, it will click on the DHCP client it will automatically receive an IP address from the ISP that's it and the ping I can enable okay so it will automatically re receive an IP address and this is feature it say like DHCP has been configured on this book now we have to do a netting so now click on the object so in the policies net add netting here so what I want like uh, we can do one netting or two netting so for the moment I will I'm gonna create only one netting. Name the name net one. Net type IPv4 original packet source zone. I can select here like a trust zone or and I'm gonna select it and the DMG zone also. Destination zone should be my ISP. Destination interface is my Ethernet one slash three. And destiny okay that's done source address I don't need to mention anything now services all translated packet and dynamic IP and port no. interface address interface Ethernet same the ISP one slash three one slash three so any uh, like what I'm doing here any IP which is coming from trust zone and DMG zone it will automatically do a netting and translate the packet into Ethernet 1 slash 3 IP with a different port number so dynamic IP address type interface address Ethernet 1 slash 3 IP address I can mention but I don't need it now and this is we use for the destination address translation okay so netting part is done I need to uh, do uh, one more thing the default routing so if you go on the virtual router click on the default and static route add so any network destination any send it to internet ethernet 1 slash 3 next hop and my next hop IP is 192.168.86.2 metric 10 okay, we need to change the name so default route any destination send it to internet 1 slash 3 next hop is 86.2 okay okay if you want to see is it 86.2 so we can check it from here my default one is 86.2 for the ISP <coughs> network part is I think everything is done uh, yeah we need to create a policy also so create add new policy policy name is like uh, only trust to DMG trust to ISP 
sorry not the netting that's the policy I need to security policy trust zone or like and DMZ zone they can go to ISP source zone I can select it here the trust zone and the TMG zone source address any source user any destination ISP zone application all services all default action allow log at session start Things and so I'm gonna make a commit now. Commit. So while it commit gets successful, so I need to configure this switch. Ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 into the VLAN 10 interface range Ethernet 0 slash 1 to 0 slash 2 switch port access VLAN 10 and I will configure wheel Ethernet 0 slash 3 on into VLAN 20 Ethernet 1 slash 0 into VLAN 30. device in virtual router default 1.100 in the internet anniversary has overlapping subnetting with this one so commit is failed so it looks like there is some problem in the DHCP configuration so it say like DHCP start 30 dot is not in interface 20 dot handle. Let's check the DHCP again. Click on the network DHCP Ethernet once less 10. So IP range 10.1 to 10.10 10 option 10.100. Commit. 
so for the switch i have configured all the vlan 1020 i configured the interface or the only one thing left ethernet 0 slash 1 we need to make it as a trunk port switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q switch port mode trunk Let's start this uh, virtual machine for VLAN 10. This is for VLAN 20, and I'm going to delete this one and I will use this virtual machine. So it will receive IP 10.1, it will receive 20.1, and it will receive 30.1 from our DHCP. on the view allocation we can see like all the IP address which is allocated for the 10 okay for the only one IP has been released from the DHCP pool to the host name this status committed and it was released on Monday 12 Monday February 12 so same for the 20 one IP has been released and for VLAN 30 no IP has been released so it's still the DHCP failed so the issue is not in the firewall the issue is in the it could be in the switch or in the computer so wipe it out again start and in let's check the switch ethernet show vlan brief so vlan 30.1 
30 it's like ethernet address <coughs> interface ethernet 1 slash 0 and here okay that's the issue this is ethernet 1 slash 1 and we have configured ethernet 1 slash 0 for the vlan 30 so delete this interface Receive the IP address 30.1 at 30.100, and if you go on the VLAN 30 V location, now it's all like 30.1 has been released. So let's try to ping something outside. Ping 8.8.8.8. It's pinging now, so it is going to the internet, and it it gonna hit my policy which I created here, the default one. setting the this policy how we know it's like hit count 5 and it's it send only 5 packets so if you go on the VLAN 10 and ping 8.8.8.8 we will come here and we can see like now it will come like 10 pack hit count so refresh it from here it's pinging like 10 counts now so everything is go all good now so VLAN 10 has been configured 2030 DSCP configure yeah we need to configure this one also start this switch and I'm not going to configure any VLAN on this switch so it will be very quick switch has been started click on the virtual PC 4 and it will receive IP address from in the range 10.89.89 so first IP DHCP so it receive IP eighty nine dot one if I say ping 8.8.8.8 I can ping it to the Google from this to from our DMG zone it is going to the ISP yeah that's all done for this video